Do you think is it swampy enough for us? Yeah, All right, follow me. See, see, follow the land. Oh yeah, we can this, spear an alligator. Yeah. We're dangerous. You are dangerous. Yeah, we for are. For a dangerous. lot of reasons. Daddy, <laughs> Cement trucks, they would probably just break kill us. What's <laughs> on? Yeah, it, it gets it's it gets deep over here. here. Oh, it gets deep over here. Yeah, yeah, big wasp. Big wasp. Uh no. Ooh, it's deep. Okay. Why don't you guys go push through? This would be easy for an alligator, is that right? Yeah, you just swim underneath it. I'm touching the bottom. Oh, no, I'm on tippy toes. Oh, oh, look at the spikes on that tree. That's like a death tree. That is the most unfriendly tree. That I, tree does not like tree huggers. Ooh, this is a nice place to swim. <laughs> oh, do we have to move now? Yeah, it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is really deep. Oh, that green stuff pokes. Let me from a form. Here. My, my gator is just going to swim over here. Are we? Tommy has an imaginary pet alligator that's following us. His name is Chomper. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. We can do those tickle spiders. Little tickle spiders, huh? You go. Daddy, Need help? You got it? Daddy, it's getting sour. Yeah, keep going straight, boys. Yeah, you got a good path there, Tom. Yeah, land ho! Careful, Tom, that's where the snakes like to hang out. They like to hang out on the land. So. Now, normally, being on land is bad for the snakes because this is how they sun themselves. The clouds came in, so it's not sunny anymore. I just don't want another banana spider in my face. Oh my goodness. Oh, those are the creepiest spiders. Whoa, ah, banana spider. Hurry up, guys. There's a, there's a rainstorm coming. All right, guys, we found ourselves a little pit of high land. And uh, there's some trees here that we can start using to build camp. Got to be really careful. A lot of poison ivy around here. This right there, that's poison ivy. That's poison ivy. That's poison ivy. That on the tree is poison ivy. You can tell it's got the three leaves and then it's got the little, like, like a thumb on the outside. All right, guys, you ready to build camp? Yeah. Hold yeah. oh. oh, that. That's rain. Come on. The rain's coming. I've got to get you guys someplace dry. Here's my uh, Japanese pocket knife. I love this thing. All right. Whew, we better get this tarp up. I hear some thunder in the background. I think it's going to rain here soon. Here it comes. There we go, guys. We got the tarp up. You guys staying out of the rain? Yeah. All right, let's get the hammocks. All right, we got mosquito nets and hammocks, and we're gonna need both. All right, luckily I brought one of the most important pieces of survival gear, a handkerchief. 
Now let's wipe those feet off. Okay, now hop on in there. As long as you're below the sides, you can't fall out. It's just like a boat. Anything that touches the ground is muddy, grimy, wet, and stinky. So you, the hammocks cannot touch the ground. And this is hard to do. So what you do is just wrap it around your neck and work that way so that you don't drop your hammock. Wow, I got that tarp up just in the nick of the time and got both the boys' hammocks up and they're sharing a mosquito net and that seems to be working really well. Uh, I gotta get a third hammock and second mosquito net up and uh, then we'll be in a little bit of a room to breathe. I've got a problem with my brand new hammock. You know how there's the string on a hoodie and if you pull it on one side, it'll just the string will come out and your hoodie's drawstring is kind of done. That's what's happened to my hammock. And now I'm trying to redo it really quick. Aha! Uh -huh, I got it. Oh man, the rain has brought the bugs out. But I've got the boys out of the rain and under the tarp. Now I need to worry about food. And man, I just, I, I need something to cook on and a way to cook out of the rain and out of the mud. So uh, we're gonna see what we can come up with. The bugs aren't as bad as you'd expect in the bayou, except at sunset and when it rains. And it's, they're just terrible right now. So I'm gonna put on some of this Ultron 12 hour uh, bug repellent. This is the good stuff. This is, this is some of the best bug repellent you can get. So we'll see if it works. Oh, I'm walking through a lot of spider webs. Oh. All this right here is poison ivy and the sap is what gets you. And so I gotta make sure not to touch the blade or anything that's touched the poison ivy. whispering This is that thorn tree, so got to take all the thorns off it. Boys, Nathan, that's really bad for the mosquito knitting. No, okay. Tommy, knock me off. No, Nathan, you're okay. so I'll go get my hammock. All right, guys, less rough housing in the hammocks, okay? What is in there? Ow, oh, something just stung me between my toes and it really hurts. I think this plant must be like some sort of stinging nettle. Ooh, ouch. Nathan, did you fall out of your hammock again? Yeah. Okay. Oh, get in. He's moving right away. Everybody is the same. 
<laughs> yeah, your pet chameleon is riding the tree frog. <laughs> I'm so proud of Tommy and Nate. They've been in that hammock for a couple hours now, and they've been entertaining themselves wonderfully. All they've got is a mayonnaise jar with a chameleon and a tree frog in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got it done. Well, there you go. This platform is pretty solid. You don't need to lash the decking together, just the compression of everything squeezed tightly together keeps it in place. Is that a little bit better? Yeah. yeah. I can see a little bit more. Yeah, you can push yourself with your feet. Huh? Yeah, that works. Well, I've been sweating my brains out, man. I gotta get some water in me. So we're gonna do some cool water purification techniques. When you look at the swamp water around here, the word stagnant and putrid comes to mind. So I uh, wouldn't recommend drinking it straight. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use a product called Chloroflock. It chlorinates the water, kills bacteria and viruses, and then it makes all the sediment and suspended material fall to the bottom, and then we can filter it out really easy. And so it makes the water not only safe, but tastes a heck of a lot better too. So you put about one or two of these packets per liter we got three liters in here, so, so I'm gonna go full throttle and uh, put six packets in. Well, once you've added the packets, you shake this for one full minute, you let it sit for 30 seconds, then shake it again a little bit, then let it sit for at least 15 minutes. There we go, that's a minute. We'll let this sit for a little while. Uh, I'm gonna straighten up camp, and then we're gonna shake it some more, and we'll have drinking water. When you're just wallowing in mud like this, you just gotta have a platform. The boys here are changing into their jammies and they need some place to stand and they can do it without getting out of the bug net. It's just so important. Well guys, the sun is setting quickly here in the bayou and we need to eat dinner and so we are gonna make fried frog jambalaya. And I have a bag of four live yellow throat frogs that me and the boys caught last night with our bare hands. Uh, if you guys would like to see that video and see our week long excursion here in the bayou, we have caught and cooked gar and blue catfish and buffalo and uh, blue crabs, the oh, huge blue crabs. We were down here with Cajun Experience, and if you don't know who those guys are, I'll put a link in the description. And if you want to see our week-long adventure, I'll put a link to that video as well. So definitely check that out. But I have got to butcher and cook up some frogs. I'll tell you guys, fried frog legs are no joke, one of the best things ever. But uh, we're going to try jambalaya style today. Cleaning frogs is pretty easy. Just chop off the head, remove the feet, take off the skin and the guts. Four frog legs in a pot. Well, by now the chloroflock has really done its job. Look how clear that water is. And there's all this junk down here on the bottom. A little bit still floating in it, but we're gonna filter those out. All right, we're gonna put some Cajun seasoning on these uh, these frog legs and get them nice and flavorful. Let that sit. The seasoning's making the frogs twitch and jump. That's when you know it's fresh. Is that creepy? Yeah. My pot's too small for these frog legs, so I gotta quarter them. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. All right, now, now they fit in the pot nicely. Now we're gonna fry up a bunch of vegetables. 
All right, now we've got this Cajun spicy jambalaya mix here. We're gonna add in there. That's looking pretty good. Just bring that to boil and we're gonna simmer it for a while. Should be ready. My legs sure are gross, but the mosquitoes love them. We're really putting our bug repellent to the test. I mean, there are just a ton of mosquitoes in here. I haven't seen this many mosquitoes since I was a boy in Alaska. Well, that Ultron bug repellent works pretty good and it doesn't burn or smell nasty like DEET does. Uh, but you really got to cover every nook and cranny with it or they will find a sweet spot. Oh, see, look right there. Got one. Ugh, right there. Hold on. Do you want some jambalaya? Yeah. Yeah, don't spill in there. Remember, this is your bed. Hey, Tommy, what do you think? It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy? Yeah, that's, that's Cajun food. Mm. Well, I think the frogs and jambalaya taste delicious, but the boys here disagree. So, we have a fallback plan. Hot dogs. Who's ready for some hot dogs? Okay, grab that, don't spill them. Well, I just finished dinner and I can hear tons of bullfrogs and yellow-throated frogs out here around us. So we're gonna see if we can't catch some. I am wearing this high-powered headlamp on my head and I'm shining it around looking for the blue light of frog eyes. And if I shine the light in their eyes, they'll hold still long enough I can get up to them and hopefully grab one. But it also makes all the spiders and other creepy crawlies in, in the swamp make their eyes glow as well. I can see all of these twinkling lights. There are thousands and thousands of spider eyes here in this swamp. It's kind of cool, kind of disconcerting. That was a big bullfrog. I've already seen three frogs in a very short period of time. I, oh, there's a big one. Oh, and they're just everywhere. Dang it, I was so close to that one. Oh, geez, there's some. Big bullfrogs here. Oh, there it is. Broken turtle eggs. Need some more. You hear that? He squeaked at me. <laughs> oh man, there was a bunch of bullfrogs there. But uh, sneaking up on these guys was a bit much. They were really, really gun shy. Uh, luckily, we had a really successful frog hunting catch and cook trip earlier this week. So I'll put a link in the description to some of our, our other videos where uh, <clears throat> we were a little more successful catching frogs. But it is late and it's time to get to bed. So I'm going to tuck these guys in and uh, we're going to call for the night. I do not have a clue how I would change out of these muddy clothes if I didn't have this platform to sit on. Holy mackerel. All right, let's get to it. Mosquitoes are gonna love this part. Let's see, Tommy, you in here? Yeah, up here. Nate, you in here? Yeah, I'm right here. All right, I'm here. We got three hammocks under one tarp. All three of us are right in each other's business. This is close quarters. All right, guys, let's see if we can get to sleep. Oh guys, I gotta tell you, that was one of the roughest night sleeps I've ever had. Right before I fell asleep, I was in my skivvies and I flipped my hammock, fell into the mud, and I tore a hole in the mosquito netting. And I had to jump out in my underwear 
and fix the mosquito netting, fix the platform, fix the hammock, re-rig everything. And the bugs ate me alive because I only had bug repellent on my arms and legs. And so I've got dozens and dozens of bites where the sun don't shine. I have been itching and itching and itching all night long. I Usually the one or two mosquito bites don't do that much for me, but I probably have a hundred mosquito bites if you total up all over my arms. I mean, my, my arms and my back are just like bumpy. Look at that, he's biting me through my shirt. Oh, man, they're just thick. Well, guys, I am not going to hang out in this paradise for too long. I know Nathan got ate up a whole bunch, too, and he's been all itchy. So I'm going to start cleaning up the camp, and uh, we're going to pack up. I'm going to find myself the biggest tub of Benadryl cream, and we're just going to just go crazy. Good morning, Tom. You get a lot of mosquito bites too? What mosquito in the tent last night that got all of me? Nathan, wake up. We're leaving, buddy. We need to put, you need to put on a shirt. Well, Tommy, did you have a good time? Yeah. It was a little rough, but I'm glad we came and I'm glad you came with me, buddy. But man, there's a lot of things I would do differently. Falling out of the hammock in the middle of the night in your underwear is really a bad idea. Whew. Oh. All right, guys, we're out of here. Oh, I gotta tell you, man, you look like Prince Charming on a white stallion when you came in with that boat. Oh, you flatter me, Luke. Whew. Bye, mosquitoes. Watch out, sir. That was all Oh, man. Well, that was adventurous and i've been wanting to try that for a while but i'm glad it's over man i am so covered in bug bites so i got any bug bites on my back oh my arm oh look at that holy crap that's a lot of bug bites oh man it feels good to be showered and in clean clothes again <laughs> Oh, we've had such a great time here with Cajun Experience. We've been staying here on their houseboat for five days. Also, if you guys want to see more from this trip, including all the frogging and catching catfish and just the whole experience itself, I'll put a link in the description to that video as well. But thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.